If you've ever thought that great inventions always come from modern laboratories, with scientists working systematically, the story of penicillin's discovery will change your perspective. Penicillin was not just a serendipitous discovery. It was the result of keen observation, perseverance, and a spirit of scientific collaboration that transcended the barriers of its time. The story begins in September 1928, in the modest laboratory of Alexander Fleming at St. Mary's Hospital in London. After returning from his summer vacation, Fleming discovered a petri dish containing Staphylococcus bacteria that had been contaminated with mold. Strangely, around the mold, the Staphylococcus bacteria were completely destroyed, leaving a clear zone. For many, this might have been just a laboratory accident, but to Fleming, it was a remarkable sign. He curiously investigated and identified the mold as Penicillium notatum. Fleming realized that the mold released a substance capable of inhibiting bacterial growth, and he named it penicillin. Fleming quickly conducted experiments to test the effects of penicillin on various types of bacteria. He found that penicillin could kill several dangerous disease-causing bacteria, such as Staphylococcus, Streptococcus, and Pneumococcus, while leaving beneficial bacteria or animal cells unaffected. This made penicillin an ideal candidate for a safe antibiotic. In 1929, he published his discovery in a scientific journal, but due to technological limitations, he could not purify and store penicillin in a stable form, making it difficult to apply practically. For over a decade, penicillin was nearly forgotten. It wasn't until the late 1930s that two British scientists, Howard Florey and Ernst Boris Chain at the University of Oxford, recognized the great potential of penicillin when they revisited Fleming's work. They were determined to develop a method to extract and purify penicillin in a form that would be sufficient for testing on animals and later humans. Through perseverance and creativity, the research team succeeded in producing penicillin with strong activity, opening new hope for the treatment of infections. In 1940, Flory and Chain tested penicillin on mice infected with deadly bacteria. The results were impressive. The mice treated with penicillin survived, while the untreated group all died. This was the first convincing evidence of penicillin's effectiveness in treating severe infections. In 1941, they tested it on the first human patient, a police officer with severe septicemia. Although there wasn't enough medicine to save the patient, the marked improvement in his condition proved the potential of penicillin. When World War II broke out, the demand for antibiotics to treat wounded soldiers became critical. The British and American governments collaborated with pharmaceutical companies to mass-produce penicillin. With the development of deep fermentation techniques, penicillin production skyrocketed, enough to supply the war fronts. 